So today we have arrived to the nephrology and we will discuss the question, written questions from the nephrology. And uh, the thing is uh, the acute nephritic and nephrotic syndrome we'll discuss in the pediatric class, not here. So today's class will mainly focus on the UTI and the acute renal failure and chronic renal failure. And so let's jump into the questions. So firstly, from the urine examination part, uh, there is a question from the urine and routine microscopic examination and bedside examination. So here is the one question about the information you can gather from routine examination of urine. So I have a picture uh, showing you a routine examination report from our college. So see here. So there are three parts of the routine microscopic examination. One is physical, another one is chemical, and another one is microscopic examination. On physical examination, you see color, appearance, right? Sediment, uh, specific gravity. So these are important. And on the chemical part, so one is albumin, sugar, ketone body, urobilinogen, you know. So albumin will be present uh, in uh, whenever there is proteinuria, sugar will be present when, it, uh, when there is uh, uh, increase in the glucose level. And ketone body can be present in case of the diabetic ketoacidosis. So urobilinogen uh, will be present or increased whenever there is the hemolytic or uh, there is a hepatocellular uh, jaundice. And pH, uh, normal pH of the urine is 4.5 to 5.5. It is uh, acidic. Uh, and bilirubin uh, sometimes can be present. Uh, ascorbic acid is uh, the indicator marker. So whenever there is increase in ascorbic acid in the urine, so it has tendency to give false negative uh, value to the uh, hemoglobin. So it is uh, used to like uh, rule out the false negative test for those hemoglobin. And nitrate is uh, positive when there is like uh, the gram negative uh, bacilli or gram negative organism convert the nitrate uh, into the nitrite. So it is positive in the infections. So, and the third part is the microscopic examination. So in the microscopic examination, epithelial cell is the non-specific factor, okay? It does not indicate, indicate something uh, uh, specifically and another one is rbc you can see it on a hematuria fossil you can see in the uh ut unit tract infections and here is uh, one uh, important one what are the cast you can see in the uh urinarium right so cast kiki acid so it tells you rbc cast rbc cast we can find it in a, uh, glomerulonephritis okay acute uh, rbc cast in the glomerulonephritis wbc cast you can see in the acute pyelonephritis okay and another one is fatty cast fatty cast you can find in, in the whenever there is increase in the fat nephrotic syndrome okay fatty cast arctase waxy cast waxy cast well, this can be found in the chronic kidney disease okay another one important one granular cast granular cast it, it is present in the acute tubular necrosis, granular cast. It is called the Modi Brown, Modi Brown cast, granular cast, Modi Brown cast. This is present in the acute tubular necrosis. And another one is a highland cast. Highland cast is just non specific. Uh, it is the it is formed by the Tom Horsfall protein. Okay, This is uh, formed by Tom Horsfall protein which is protein that is secreted from the tubules. So these are the different cast you can find in a urine routine microscopic examination with the diagnosis. And another one is crystal. So what are the crystal? Uh, crystal, uh, suppose uh, calcium oxalate, these are uh, triple phosphate. So this indicates the there is, um, you know, in a, in renal stone, it, 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 there is a diagnostic, uh, diagnostic my, uh, can it, uh, precipitated way, chemical gula precipitated way, calcium oxalate uh, form per way, triple phosphate form per way, uh, triple phosphate, uh, it's true by stone of only, uh, you have to check it, chemicals, chemicals, you check it, and the precipitated way, it a crystal form per way. Okay, then another, uh, these are not the routine part, but uh, this is given uh, in the urinary trigomonas vaginalis and uh, the spermatozoa. So these are the uh, urine examination. This is this is what we see clinically uh, when the patient comes uh, with the uh, urinary tract uh, symptoms. 
So another one is the, what are the information you can gather from the bedside examination of urine? So whenever you go to the patient, you see the, firstly you see uh, the color and amount. So what is the color of urine? Is the color of urine is changing? So urine color might be normal, that is a straw color, or it might be high color, high color bole, jokuni patient mane red na kintu patient a straw color e to high color bole mane e to mane dense of mane uh panis jokun patient a dehydration away, tokun mani amade uh utata high color is a urinta. So high colored as urine acid. So another one is hematuria, red colored urine. So the important thing is here is not only the uh, hematuria causes the red urine there is also other causes of the red urine okay so red urine is just a second so red urine so what are the differential diagnosis for red urine ekta to hemoglobin right arekta hocche myoglobin Myoglobin, myoglobin urea, arecta check it, uh, refam piscin. Suppose uh, uh, the patient is taking anti tubercular drug, refam piscin, and the patient can complain you about the orange or red colored urine. So it is completely normal. So you have to take history when the patient presents with the hematuria and uh, the and, uh, hemoglobin and myoglobin. So this two. Uh, uh, can cause red urine, but it has to like in dipstick test. This both two are positive, but uh, these are di differentiated on the ba basis of presence of the RBC. Okay, so urine urine RM take a RBC based type of myoglobin the man thak bina RBC thak bina. So uh, these two are positive for dipstick test. Both are positive, but they can be differentiated. And another one is a porphyria. Porphyria that it can also cause the Red urine. So porphyria, the dipstick test is negative. So this is negative, and this two a dipstick is, test is positive. Then let's ekta uh, to clinical importance ilo color and amount. Amount the kajuno. Many patient uh, how what how it, is it maintaining the volume fluid volume is right or patient is getting dehydrated. This is a good sign. So color oche, arecta oche amount on the bed side is the duita test, uh, routine test that is a heat coagulation test for protein and the Benedict test for the sugar. So these are the four things uh, that we see in the bedside examination of the urine. So here is another uh, question about how can you differentiate between the enlarged spleen and left kidney? So it is checky inspection, palpation, and percussion, thin type of environment. So first thing, inspection. So whenever uh, the patient inspires, inspiration, inspiration is key difference. Inspiration is splint right leg fossa de So if the patient is has a massive mass, so whenever the patient inspires, the diaphragm contracts and the the uh, the abdominal viscera goes down. So on going down, uh, the spleen goes to towards the right leg fossa, not straightly downwards. And whereas the kidney goes the straightly downwards, it also ecta inspection. Then also palpation. Palpation in mate, you can find splenic A's in uh, in case of the splenic uh, enlarged spleen, but there is a rounded A's, ecta uh, rounded pabu, to my ecta rounded globular structure pabu, kidney the ketre. Arecta also ki tumarki splenic notch, notch power jai, lower medial border. You can name ecta also splenic A's, splenic notch power jai. Is in large spleen, and I can the upper insinuation test for it again, finger insinuation test that is upper border cannot be felt during the enlarged spleen. Okay, but uh, upper ace can be felt in the enlarged left kidney. So, this is called finger insinuation test for it again. And I can check the percussion last year, percussion, percussion in large spleen. This is a solid structure, so I'm a percussion for the keep up dull bow. So on kidney, when you perk, uh, percuss uh, over the kidney, you will find the uh, resonant. Why? Because uh, the kidney uh, is a retroperitoneal structure, as you know. So in front of them, uh, in front of it, there is uh, there is what? There is colon. There is a uh, tubular structure, right? Uh, which has air in it. Okay. So the uh, the percussion sound would be resonant. Okay. In case of the left uh, kidney enlargement. So these are the test and a kidney is also pal uh, ballotable. So you can say that, but these are the main things. So 
another one is polyuria so polyuria ke thre basic ki chunai so what are the causes of polyuria jigis karasi so let me go to there so polyuria achhe ki tumar excess jokhon hi tumar normal urinary output hoche ki 0.5 to 2 liter per day so whenever it is more than 2 liter per day it is called polyuria so polyuria ta uh, cause ki ki polyuria physiological cause ache ekta hoche increased fluid intake so there's coffee intake right ekta holo eta tarpor hoche ki diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus and arekta hoche ki hypercalcemia so ekhane prashno jigesh kora ache ki uh, what clinical information will you search for identification of the etiology so egula search korte hoyli ki ki mane clinically important uh, questions you have to do the clinically important questions so physiologically the history theke bujha jabe so diabetes mellitus khetre patient e associated feature thakbe thakte pare polyphagia polydipsia weight loss feature thakte pare right then patient e family history positive thakte pare patient e so diabetes insipidus thaki eta age bujho so diabetes insipidus is like there is a ads hormone produce hoye na ar hocche ki ekta ache ki ads hormone produce hoye kintu কাজ করতে পারে না আমাদের কিডনি টিউবলসে আর একটা হচ্ছে কি এডিএস হরমোন प्रोड्यूस হয় না সো ডায়াবেটিস ইনসিপিডাস ইজ অফ টু টাইপস সেন্ট্রাল এন্ড সেন্ট্রাল এন্ড পেরিফেরাল ডায়াবেটিস ইনসিপিডাস নেফ্রোজেনিক নেফ্রোজেনিক বলি এটা কি নেফ্রোজেনিক ডায়াবেটিস সেন্ট্রাল ডায়াবেটিস মানে এটা কি তোমার পোস্টেরিয়র পিটুটারি দি এডিএস রিলিজ হবে না সো দ্যাট ইজ সেন্ট্রাল সেন্ট্রাল ডায়াবেটিস ইনসিপিডাস so cause ki trauma tumor surgery okay so anything that involving trauma tumor brain surgery surgery so these are the causes of central diabetes insipidus nephrogenic diabetes insipidus is usually caused by the lithium toxicity right lithium toxicity hypercalcemia so igula hocche ki amader nephrogenic diabetes insipidus kara so these are the features like uh, on ke in uh, Uh, in case of the nephrogenic you can find the history of the drug use lithium toxicity and on case of the central diabetes insipidus you can find trauma tumor surgery previous so these are the fine so hypercalcemia so hypercalcemia ki bhabe present karbe so hypercalcemia ta hoche ki patient e panch ta bole sign bole stones so can present with the renal stones stone bones can present with the bone pain okay another one is groans মানে ইট ক্যান প্রেজেন্ট অ্যাজ আ অ্যাবডোমিনাল পেইন ডিউ টু অ্যাকিউট প্যানক্রিয়াটাইটিস ওকে প্যানক্রিয়াটাইটিস নিয়ে আসে প্রেজেন্ট পারে স্টোন বোনস গ্রোনস থ্রোনস থ্রোনস বলে থ্রোনস মানে এটা নেমোনি থ্রোনস দে হচ্ছে কি আমাদের পলিউরিয়া পলিউরিয়া গ্রোনস সাইকিয়াট্রিক প্রবলেম সাইকিয়াট্রিক ওভারটোনস বলে ওভার সাইকিয়াট্রিক প্রবলেম নিয়ে আসতে পারে এটা পাঁচটা ফিচার নিয়ে আসতে পারে মানে দিস ইজ দিস ইজ দ্য নেমোনি ফর হাইপার ক্যালসিয়েমিয়া সো The next question is of uh, hematuria. So hematuria, they get a lot of questions as a discuss corpo. So hematuria, let's say it passes of blood in urine, right? So hematuria cause you guess what the main thing is. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pre-renal, renal and post-renal causes of hematuria. Pre-renal is a coagulation disorder, any bleeding disorders, right? And then history of the anticoagulant use, you will have to pay pre-renal limit. And to my renal limit, to me, nephritic syndrome, nephritic syndrome, vasculitis, right? That's why it's a trauma, any trauma, renal tumor, you will have a renal cause. So post-renal cause, anything, any tra- tumor, any stone tumor, right? Any trauma or BPS or post-renal cancer, you will have a post-renal cause of hematuria. So, there is a question about like uh, 30 year old patient presents with the hematuria so what are your uh, five differential diagnosis so tumi bole dila 30 year old male patient uh, male patient female patient je jakhon bole so young age asle uti stone bole diba right tar pore hoche ki tumar tar pore bole dao nephritic syndrome vasculitic bleeding disorder so common genus so if they ask you like the 80 uh, 70 year old male patient presents with the hematuria so blood, first you have to think of the what bladder cancer prostate cancer tar pore hoche tumor of the kidney you will agle likhte ho okay so it depends upon the age so what is they are asking so uh, young patient thakle amra uti stone age likhbo ar old patient thakle amra tumor gula age likhbo bladder tumor prostate cancer you will agle likhbo so another thing is another type of classification we get classified by hematuria is three this is called initial hematuria terminal hematuria and the complete hematuria so initial hematuria mane ki initial hematuria mane jokhon patient urinate korbe 
প্রথম দিয়ে আমরা there will be passes of the blood okay so initially causes mate ki amade urethral causes such as urethritis trauma to the urethra so this is the cause of the initial hemorrhage and terminal hemorrhage mane ki tumar sheshe dige blood jabe so uh, this is from the bladder and the prostatic cause okay and complete hematuria this is from the what renal cause renal cause upre diye hoye complete hematuria hobe so the main purpose of this slide is to show you the difference between the glomerular and non glomerular hematuria so there is a question the very important question they can ask you what is the most difference how can you what is the most important like uh, the thing uh, that can differentiate between the glomerular and non glomerular hematuria so glomerular and non glomerular hematuria urinalysis is important ta ki bolle tumi bolba dysmorphic rpc so this is very important this can differentiate between the glomerular and non glomerular so what is dysmorphic rbc so dysmorphic rbc means whenever the uh, rbc passes through the kidney right it has to pass through the glomerular basement membrane right so whenever it tries to squeeze out through the glomerular basement membrane it changes its shape okay it uh, like there will be a pressure and it will be the rbc will be dysmorphic means it changes its shape so this is called the dysmorphic rbc which is always present in the glomerular hematuria okay glomerular hematuria diagnostic hoche amar the dysmorphic rbc and arekta hoche ki blood thakbe tumar glomerular mate protein thakbe so protein thakte pare but there will be no protein in case of the non glomerular hematuria right so this is the most important thing about the difference between the glomerular and non glomerular so what are the history you have to take in patient with hematuria so patient hematuria ni aslo so first you have to if the patient is female you have to differentiate between this is the uh, like a menstruating blood or is it really coming from the uh, urinary tract so first thing is history of menstruation tumare eta nite hobe so another another uh, thing is like uh, the patient is using antiplatelet drug like anticoagulant that is on anticoagulant therapy so renal cause mate ase gelo ar history of renal disease kono renal disease history chilo ar tumar nephritic syndrome indicate korar jonno kono screen or throat infection chilo ar tumar vasculitis involved indicate korar jonno kono mane skin rash joint pain eigula chilo ar nahole history of trauma any trauma so renal trauma can present as a hematuria so you have to take a careful history about the trauma so how do we evaluate a case of the hematuria সো হেমাচুরিয়া কিভাবে আমরা ইভ্যালুয়েট করব প্রথম তো ইউরিন অ্যানালাইসিস করব সো ভিজিবল আর নন ভিজিবল হেমাচুরিয়া আছে আমাদের সো ভিজিবল আর নন ভিজিবল হেমাচুরিয়া আর নন ভিজিবল মানে আমাদের কি মাইক্রোস্কোপিক হেমাচুরিয়া আছে সো ফার্স্ট থিং ইউ হ্যাভ টু এক্সক্লুড ইজ মেনস্ট্রুয়েশন অর ইউটিআই দেন ইউ হ্যাভ টু চেক বিপি সো এটা হচ্ছে কি তোমার একটা প্রোটোকল so if the patient is suffering from the visible hematuria uh, visible hematuria so it is due to the uh, cause is um, cause have to be like the the cause have to be like uh, referred to the urology so we do the usc or ct scan ct scan of the renal tract they do or cystoscopy so they are thinking that cystoscopy so visible hematuria ekhetre cystoscopy keno korte chen because uh, they are thinking about the uh, you you should thinking we about the bladder cancer okay so any usc or ct scan because there can be a renal stone or any uh, polycystic kidney disease gula thakte pare so visible hematuria ketre so persistent non visible hematuria ketre so if the patient uh, the bp is normal and the albumin creatinine ratio is normal so more than 50 years of age you have to think about the, about, the, uh, about that bladder cancer or any uh, cancer of the urinary tract right or uh, if it is less than 40 years so you think uh, if the patient is not symptomatic not not that severe so you do the annual urinalysis and the just patient go home. so if the patient uh, the bp is abnormal so it indicates there is a renal disease pre existing renal disease so so you have to take a good history about the renal disease and the vascular uh, diseases uh, the vasculitis so yeah, the the protocol might be taking the independent taking the renal biopsy so refer to the neuro nephrology so you can write in this way or just uh, by uh, mentioning like uh, number one you have you do the urine analysis right you find the rbc then you do the what uh, if the patient if the patient is old then you uh, start with the cystoscopy usc or ct scan right so you can start through this or you can write this protocol this is a picture from the davidson so not all red or dark urine is hematuria 
as I've already told you, not only uh, hemoglobin, uh, uh, RBC can cause the red urine, also the myoglobin and the drug side, there is a side effect for of the drug rifampicin can also cause the hematuria. And another one is the uh, porphyria can also, porphyria can also cause the red or dark blue. Okay. So this is about hematuria. Now, let's move on to the important uh, so here the dysuria what is dysuria and what are the causes of dysuria so dysuria is the painful mean uh, mixturation so causes include the mostly the lower urinary tract infection that is cystitis or urethritis okay so this is the cause of the urinary tract infection that is lower mainly lower okay so urinary tract infection urinary tract infection day so urinary tract infection so we're going to discuss anatomy pathogenesis or clinical feature treatment okay so what are those that are asked in the written examination so uh urinary tract is divided into the lower and upper urinary tract okay so upper urinary tract includes kidney and ureter and lower urinary tract include bladder and ureter so there is a term called upper uti and lower uti so whenever there is an infection in the kidney or ureter this is called an upper urinary tract infection and whenever there is an infection in the bladder or urethra, that is lower urinary tract infection. Okay, so the and one thing is the higher up you go, the severe it is. So what does it mean? It means that pyelonephritis is the most severe one. Okay, it is the most severe one. Then what's the urethritis and the urethritis is the less severe one, right? So pathogenesis, uh, it is common in female. Uh, so due to the short urethra, okay, short urethra due to four centimeter, female is just four centimeter. In case of the male, 18 to 20 centimeters high urethra. So short urethra and close proximity with the uh, anus. So QHI, fetal contamination way, uh, ascending infection with the by. So ascending infection is usually caused by the gram negative, E. coli, Klebsiella, protease, and pseudomonas. And the risk factor is. Uh, for the developing UTI are the bladder outflow obstruction. Whenever there is obstruction, there will be stasis and there will be increased uh, chances of the infections and anatomical abnormalities, which increases the risk of the ascending infections, such as basic urethric reflux, neurological problem, such as multiple sclerosis, diabetic neuropathy, right? And the foreign bodies that increases the chance. And there, when there is a loss of post such as in atrophic uh, vaginitis, atrophic urethri urethritis, right? And the diabetes mellitus. So the important thing is uh, you have to know about upper urinary UTI and lower UTI, right? So we're going to discuss separately upper UTI uh, one by one. Urethritis we'll discuss from start from the lower down and we go to the above. Okay. So what investigation uh, the patient should get of the patient with UTI? So UTI patient, sub patient ki urine RME and culture pave. Okay. So urine RME and culture is all patient. Uh, will receive urine RME and culture. So urine culture should be given before starting the antibiotic. Okay, so before antibiotic, urine uh, the sample for urine culture should be sent before the antibiotic start for again. So uh, urethritis the So urethritis such a urethra mother infection. So urethritis is usually due to the uh, STDs. Okay, gonorrhea, or chlamydia, sexually transmitted disease the case. Urethritis. So it presents with the uh, urethral discharge or urethral discharge. So discharge tha ke patient de niyasi. So investigation ko korte hoye gonorrhea or chlamydia khetre. So gonorrhea khetre tumi korte parva gram staining, gram staining and chlamydia khetre nucleic acid amplification test you have to do this. So this two tests are given, and you have to exclude the uh, HIV. Uh, okay, and the treatment is for the gonorrhea, we give the ceftriaxone. Ceftriaxone is given for gonorrhea. And for the chlamydia, we can give azithromycin or doxycycline, okay? So azithromycin is a one day single dose and the doxycycline seven day dose. So we give uh, chlamydia azithromycin or doxycycline, we start for the body. So this is urethritis. This is the uh, urethritis is the less severe one. Okay? So cystitis, so cystitis, uh, the patient will present as suprapubic pain type of patient, uh, frequency urgency to my irritative syndrome, uh, frequency urgency nocturia type of patient, uh, to me investigation for like urine, uh, urine analysis for the way. So, urine analysis must have to be possible. So, treatment is to start with nitrofurantoin or 
ट्रेगने who is not who doesn't have a structural and functional abnormality and who has no significant comorbidity okay like diabetes mellitus okay so eta patient e amra dhorte hobe ki uncomplicated uti so complicated mane ki first hi hocche all male are complicated okay so male asle tumi ki dhorte hobe this is a complicated case okay so pregnant suppose another one is pregnant woman or child woman uh who has structural functional abnormalities or who has uh comorbidities okay so this will be counted as a complicated uti and for the complicated uti for the case of in case of the cystitis we have to give the antibiotic for the seven days or the recent, recent instrumentation or surgery of the urinary tract so this is counted as a complicated uti so uh ekhon hocche ki the most severe one the pyelonephritis so pyelonephritis patient of presentation ta thakbe ki triad thakbe patient e so there will be a triad triad ta ki fever thakbe fever hocche ki ki high fever okay with chills and rigor thakbe patient e chills and rigor thakbe okay so another one is low in pain low in pain and another one is posto vertebral angle tenderness so this three type eta ki triad eta typical triad of the pyelonephritis ni aspe so on urine analysis uh, the most important you think found in is wbc cast this is not present in cystitis or urethritis but present in the pyelonephritis okay so wbc cast you can find mm, and you can do ct or usc to detect abscess so pyelonephritis long standing pyelonephritis it doesn't result it forms the abscess so so to exclude abscess or detect abscess we can give ct or usc our uh, treatment is ki tumara hospitalize or ambulatory patient so If the patient is hospitalized, we give this study usually generally as ceftriaxone, cefalexin. Or if the patient is ambulatory, or patient uh, you is in the primary healthcare and uh, going home, so we use ciprofloxacin orally. Okay. So this pyelonephritis can complicate as a chronic pyelonephritis, or they can remain and develop the perinephric abscess and can develop uh, into the blood strip and cause urosepsis. Okay. So these are the complication of the pyelonephritis. So there is one question, a written question. What is the difference between uh, upper UTI and lower UTI? So upper UTI means that you have pyelonephritis, as you already know. Lower UTI is the cystitis or urethritis, right? So pyelonephritis is the case. Upper UTI is the feature case. Fevers with high fevers with chills and rigor, lower low in pain, are renal angle tenderness. That is, but we say that our lower UTI is the case. So lower UTI is the case of mild fever. That is, it is the case. So cystitis. फ्लुडर पर डे আরেকটা হচ্ছে কি রেগুলার এমটি কমপ্লিট এমটি অফ ব্লাডার আরেকটা পার্সোনাল হাইজিন মেইনটেনেন্স আর তোমার সেক্সুয়াল ইন্টারকোর্স আগে অর আফটার ইউ হ্যাভ টু এমটি দ্য ব্লাডার সো দিস আর দ্য প্রিভেন্টিভ মেজারস সো প্রোফাইলাক্টিক্যালি উই ক্যান ইউজ ড্রাগস বাট ইট ইজ জেনারেলি ইউজ ইন কেস অফ দ্য রিকারেন্ট ইউটিআই নট ইন দ্য জেনারেল ইউটিআই কেসেস সো প্রোফাইলাক্টিক্যালি উই ক্যান ইউজ টাইমিথোপ্রিন অর নাইট্রোফিউরিন সো one thing i want to tell you is whenever the patient of uti uh, a uh, patient comes with uti and the patient is pregnant you cannot use the fluoroquinolones okay so this is uh, the uh, toxic to the fetus and causes bony abnormalities so you cannot use the fluoroquinolones you have to generally use the amoxicillin ampicillin or cephalosporin type group of drug so uti is pre uti in pregnancy is important because it can increase the risk of the preterm labor and uh resulting in the low birth weight okay so what is recurrent uti so recurrent uti it is like six month period you have two to three or two to five uti you see here it is like yearly you have four or more four or more uti so 
recurrent uti can important because it can cause the permanent kidney damage so this is important so you have to use the prophylactic drugs so asymptomatic bacteria so this is the term so asymptomatic bacteria which tumar 10 to the power 5 uh, organism power that's a urine kintu patient is asymptomatic so treatment is generally not required except in cases of like uh, we have to give treatment in cases of the infant pregnant woman so or those who are having urinary tract abnormalities so this can develop a poverty pyelonephritis develop korte pare so we have to use the we have to give the treatment uh, and another so uh, see the question that was asked in the final probe so a newly married uh, uh, lady presented with the high grade fever burning micturition and the flank pain for the last 5 days so what is the probable diagnosis so many students just tried the uh, uti uh, so here it is saying that there is a flank pain high grade fever so you can write the upper uti probably pyelonephritis okay so it is a case of the upper uti so investigation amra jani urine analysis culture pathabo tar pore abscess mane hoyse ki na or mane exclude karar jonno we can do the usc right so non pharmacological treatment we have discussed it earlier so it i hocche amader uh uti theke ekhon amra jai amader main topic amader main topic ajke hocche ki acute and chronic renal failure so so acute renal failure so acute renal failure uh, and chronic renal failure. so aka i dekhi amra first shuru kori acute renal failure so here are the patterns of questions they can ask you so look at the first question so 30 year old male patient uh, admitted to the hospital with the complaint complaints of absence of micturition so anuria history this right anuria history so uh, leg swelling ho ase patient uh, on examination potassium 6 millimole so potassium is very very high right and the serum creatinine is very high right so uh, the patient is anuric and the patient has increase in creatinine and the serum potassium is high right so uh, this is the typical like the one case uh, they can ask you about the acute kidney injury arekta hocche ki arekta dekho a uh, poor man complains to the frequent episode of the loser or loose water is stood for the last two days and vomiting for one day on examination uh, he was severely dehydrated and hypotensing and oliguric and serum creatinine is 3 so here it is giving you the clue that the patient uh, is on ongoing loss right the patient is diarrheic and vomiting for two day one day right so patient is um, there is a fluid loss and the now the patient is oliguric and the serum creatinine is 3 so it is like typically like this is a typical case of the pre renal aki pre renal cause okay pre renal aki so usually the in the lab values in the aki they can give you the hyperkalemia they can give you hyperkalemia or they can give you the metabolic acidosis okay these two things they can give you in the scenario like the patient is metabolic acidosis as eto ase bicarbonate eto low ase or hyperkalemia ase they can give you the hint about this so acute kidney injury ki tar pore amra abar question e answer discuss korbo acute kidney injury so previously it was called the acute renal failure so new term is the acute kidney injury aki bole so what are the causes so the causes of acute kidney injury is divided into the three types pre renal renal and post renal so pre renal is the most common one and um, whenever anything that decreases the blood flow to the kidney can cause the pre renal uh, is the pre renal cause of the acute kidney injury another one is a renal renal there is a glomerulonephritis acute tubular necrosis and allergic interstitial nephritis okay and the post renal cause hocche ki tumar je kono jinis that obstruct the renal outflow it can cause the acute kidney injury post renal cause so ekhon aso amra podi pre renal and uh, pre renal causes of the Pre-renal kiki cause mate hoite pare. So what are the causes that decreases the blood flow to the uh, decreases the blood flow? So so pre-renal mate suppose uh, there is heart right heart give pumping to the what pumping the blood to the kidney. Okay? So pumping the blood to the kidney. 
sorry for this uh, you know bad figure so heart a heart cause as so suppose uh, anything that decreases the blood flow to the kidney right kidney blood flow ki 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 bhabe decrease hote pare suppose heart cannot pump clearly right so there is excess fluid volume ta kom thake so excess loss of body fluid or there is a third fluid spacing mane hocche ki ki tumar extra vascular fluid jacche beshi mane edema hoye extra vascularly fluid ta jacche ar hocche ki tumar ki obstruction thakte pare renal artery stenosis thakte pare okay so what are the cause heart er modhe ki tumar ek mi thakte pare myocardial infarction or congestive heart failure hoyte pare ar tumar ki loss loss mane ki hemorrhage hoyte pare blood loss mane hemorrhage hoyte pare or fluid loss hoye hoyte pare diarrhea vomiting right severe diarrhea vomiting egula ar tumar ache ekta ki third fluid space third e mane extra vascular space e jaite se fluid ta eta mane ki tumar kothay pao tumi cirrhosis nephrotic syndrome e paite paro okay ar hocche ki tumar renal artery stenosis hoye blood flow ta kome jabe renal artery stenosis or uh, fibromuscular dysplasia ekta kon fibromuscular dysplasia which is the common in case of the female so these are the pre renal causes of the acute kidney injury so what are the renal cause renal cause in madhye dhoro suppose this is glomerulus glomerulus so there is a cause so glomerular ekta cause ase glomerulus e glomerular nephritis ar ekta ase ki tumar interstitial allergic interstitial interstitial inflammation allergic interstitial nephritis pore interstitial nephritis ar ekta ase ki acute tubular necrosis tubules er madhye necrosis so allergic interstitial nephritis is usually it is a, a response against the infections infection infection er madhye ekta sensitivity hoye gelo eta bole mycoplasma pneumonia Yeah, this is usually due to uh, reaction on reaction to the mycoplasma. I told you antibiotic is a reaction with very antibiotic like the penicillin, cephalosporin type of group, and the acute tubular necrosis. Acute tubular necrosis has generally two causes. One is the ischemic cause, and the other one is the toxic cause. And the other is the toxic cause. Ischemic cause is what? That you mean? Anything that decreases the blood flow to the kidney. so toxic cause in the kidney pay the paro tumi iv such as myoglobin myoglobin is very toxic to the tubular cell i told you ki iv contrast this two are very toxic substances so this can cause acute tubular necrosis right so prerenal renal and postrenal cause of the acute kidney so how can we work up a case of the acute kidney suppose the patient has low uh, serum creatinine level of the 5 uh, and the patient is uh, potassium level is very high so ekta hocche ki tumi serum creatinine level beshi pailo suppose you have increase in serum creatinine so you order to differentiate between the prerenal renal and postrenal so suppose we discuss first exclude the prerenal prerenal ta hocche ki bhabe differentiate to amra bun by creatinine ratio so what is bun by creatinine ratio bun mane blood urea nitrogen divided by the creatinine okay so bun by creatinine ratio is more than 20 in case of the prerenal ek ya so why because because you know suppose uh, this is prerenal cause is the cause due to because there is decrease in blood flow to the kidney there is no the kidney is functioning normally but there is a decrease blood flow to the kidney so ki hoye jabe joto tuku blood jabe tumar kidney te joto tuku blood jabe tubules theke bun ta ki hoye jabe absorb hoye jabe so bun ta ki creatinine to excrete hoye dise normally right so bun ta ki hoye dise okhane beshi beshi kore reabsorption hoye dise right so bun reabsorbs hoye blood level badabe because there is no any abnormal there is the kidney is functioning properly so bun will get reabsorbed very very like bun will get reabsorbed and creatinine will be excreted normally so ki hoye jabe ikhane bun ta beshi thakbe ar creatinine ta kom thakbe tai jonno ki hoye jabe bun beshi hoye ufre ta beshi hoye niche ta kom hoye ki hoye jabe the uh, the result will be there is increase so whenever the bun by creatinine ratio increase more than 20 it is uh, indicated of the prerenal uh, aka so it will uh, bun by creatinine so this is the diagnostic okay bun by creatinine ratio more than 20 we think aka uh, prerenal cause so and other things that is supportive to the bun creatinine ratio are the urinary sodium fractional excretion of the sodium and fractional excretion of the urea so all are decrease because what the sodium uh, the, uh, like the body is losing the fluid right in case of the prerenal causes so in response to the uh, lo losing the fluid the body will try to retain everything you know everything possible so it will reabsorb 
কি সোডিয়াম এন্ড ইউরিয়া एवरीथिंग সো কি হয়ে যাবে এখানে আমাদের ইউরিনারি কনসেন্ট্রেশনটা কমে যাবে সো ইট ইজ ইন্ডিকেটিভ অফ দা প্রিরেনাল কজ সো প্রিরেনাল কজ ইউজুয়ালি ডিউ টু কি ভলিউম লস এর কারণে হয় সাচ এজ ভেরি ডায়রিয়া ভমিটিং সো উই হ্যাভ টু গিভ দি আইভি ফ্লুইড দিতে হবে রাইট সো এটা হবে তারপরে পোস্ট রেনাল তারপরে আসে পোস্ট রেনাল কজ কিভাবে এক্সক্লুড করতে পারে নেক্সট থিং ইজ পোস্ট রেনাল কজ সো তুমি ইউএস পোস্ট রেনাল কজ ইজ ওয়েন देयर ইজ এনিথিং দ্যাট ইজ অবস্ট্রাকটিং দা ইউরিনারি আউটলুক ইট উইল কজ দা পোস্ট রেনাল मिलाईनिस তুমি পাইতে পারো सपोज ইন কেস অফ দা অ্যাকিউট টিউবুলার নেক্রোসিস देयर इज মডি ব্রাউন ক্রাস্ট অ্যাকিউট টিউবুলার নেক্রো গ্লোমেরুলোনেফ্রাইটিস মধ্যে তুমি কি গ্লোমেরুলোনেফ্রাইটিস এর মধ্যে ফিচার লাইক আর বি সি বি সি পাবে রাইট অ্যাকিউট টিউবুলার নেক্রোসিস এর মধ্যে তুমি কি মডি ব্রাউন ক্রাস্ট একটু আগেই বললাম মডি ব্রাউন ক্রাস্ট পেতে পারো অ্যালার্জিক ইন্টারস্টিশিয়াল নেফ্রাইটিস এর মধ্যে একটা স্পেসিফিক বুঝবে কি देयर इज ইওসিনোফিল প্রেজেন্ট ইন দা ইউরিন অ্যালার্জিক ইন্টারস্টিশিয়াল নেফ্রাইটিস এর মধ্যে ওকে সো দিস আর দি দিস ইজ হাউ ইউ ক্যান ওয়ার্ক অফ দা কেস অফ দি অ্যাকিউট কিডনি ইনজুরি so acute kidney, uh, kidney injury patient aste so you have to think about the these four complications so and one is hyperkalemia metabolic acidosis a metabolic acidosis bujba tumi due to decrease in bicarbonate level so metabolic acidosis bujba tar pore hocche dilution hyponatremia are uremic feature like pericarditis encephalopathy igula feature ni aste pare so how can you manage a case of the uh, uh, acute kidney injury so acute kidney injury প্রথমে হচ্ছে কি তোমার কি আন্ডারলাইন কজটা ম্যানেজ করতে হবে সাপোজ ইফ ইট ইজ আ কেস অফ দা প্রি রেনাল কজ প্রি রেনাল কজ ফ্লুইড লস হইতেছে ওই ওই ক্ষেত্রে তুমি কি করবে সো ইউ উইল গিভ দি আইভি ফ্লুইডস রাইট সো ইফ দা پیشنট ইজ সাফারিং ফ্রম দা পোস্ট রেনাল কজ অফ একিআই সো সমটাইমস দি অবস্ট্রাকশন লাইক ফোলিস ক্যাথেটর করলে মানে پیشنটে ইউরিনটা বের হয়ে যায় রাইট সো ইউ উইল কারেক্ট দা আন্ডারলাইন কজ রাইট next thing is you will correct the complication like the severe complication of the like hyperkalemia and metabolic acidosis hyperkalemia juno amra jani calcium gluconate debo uh, insulin egula ase amra beta 2 agonist egula hocche ki amra hyperkalemia juno hyperkalemia alada treatment korbo ar hocche metabolic acidosis ni sodium bicarbonate debo right and the renal replacement therapy debo whenever uh, the patient needs and another one is infection control korbo amra antibiotic diye so first thing is you should correct the underlying cause and complication and renal replacement therapy whenever it is indicated okay so renal replacement therapy ta kokhon amra dite dite hobe ekai ei khetre so here is the one mnemonic you can think about a e i o u a e i o u dekhe mone rakhte parba so whenever there is a metabolic acidosis whenever there is electrolyte change like hyperkalemia persistent hyperkalemia treatment de komte sena or whenever there is intoxication like ekta cause ase amade aki a cause hocche eta ethylene glycol bole eta age so in case of the toxicity like uh, toxicity in, with the drugs you can use the uh, um, uh, dialysis and another one is overload overload mane uh, when it, there is a pulmonary edema refractory pulmonary edema thake or uremia ইউরেমিক ফিচার নি আসলে এগুলা ক্ষেত্রে আমরা কি করব রেনাল রিপ্লেসমেন্ট থেরাপি দ্যাট ইজ ডায়ালাইসিস করব এখন দেখো আমাদের সিকেডি কিভাবে মানে ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজ আমাদের কিভাবে আসতে পারে एग्जाम সো ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজের پیشنটে তোমাদের দিবে কি پیشنটা হচ্ছে কি কোন একটা জিআই ফিচার দিবে নজিয়া ভমিটিং একটা ফিচার দিবে রাইট এন্ড দিবে কি তোমাদের پیشنট ইজ অ্যানিমিক এন্ড پیشنট ইজ হাইপোটেনসিভ right patient is hypertension and divya tumar ke diabetes mellitus so dite pare so increase in blood sugar level ar uh, egula dite pare so this will uh, indicate uh, the, the patient is suffering from the chronic kidney disease so chronic kidney disease ekhane uh, most probably the cause is diabetes mellitus so one of the important cause is the diabetic diabetes kidney disease so diabetes or hypertension patient egula patient ta এভাবে মানে একটা অ্যানেমিক ফিচার তারপরে একটা জিআই ফিচার নজিয়া ভমিটিং এগুলো ফিচার নিয়ে আসছে আমরা কি চিন্তা করব ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজ ওকে সো ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজ কি কি জিজ্ঞেস করা আছে একটা হচ্ছে কজ হোয়াট আর দ্য কমন কজ টেল মি দ্য ফাইভ ইম্পর্টেন্ট কজ অফ দি ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজ এটা প্রশ্ন জিজ্ঞেস করা একটা হচ্ছে কি ডায়াবেটিস মেলাইটিস 
प्रोग्रेशन टू दी स्टेज थ्री एंड स्टेज फोर suppose the patient has arrived to the step 3 and stage 3 and 4 so the patient will develop the complication here so in uh, addition to the preventing the progression we have to give the management uh, man, we have to manage the complication like anemia osteo renal osteodystrophy regular management karte hai hamase ke then uh, so whenever you reach the patient with the stage 4 You have to prepare for hemodialysis, like fistula gula, banana tea away, at the AV fistula to prepare for the hemodialysis. Okay, so and in case of the fee, uh, five stage five, you definitely need the hemodialysis. Patient cannot uh, uh, like the live without the dialysis. So this is in stage renal disease only. The stage five is also called in stage renal disease. So what is uh, what are the causes like what are the complication what are the complication or features that develops after the chronic renal failure renal failure will really key complication develop karte hai so you can remember this with the mnemonic called mad hunger so m the m a d a ki metabolic acidosis ki bhabe bujhbe tumi bicarbonate level ta kome ja right okay metabolic acid ar ekta hocche ki dyslipidemia usually triglyceride ta beshi thake ar eta ekta ki hyperkalemia sd u the ki uremic features and the case sodium and water retention that will be manifested as a pulmonary refractory pulmonary edema hoy taki patient growth retardation korbe tar pore ipo deficiency mane the erythropoietin deficiency hole anemia korabe or renal osteodystrophy so renal cause kono bone changes hoy jabe ekhane so ekta important amader question ache what are the causes of anemia in case of the chronic kidney disease right टक्सिकुरेम so bone marrow is toxic so that will decrease the erythropoiesis and to achieve are to achieve blood is so toxic substance will ase eta ki kore dibe red cell survival ta ki komai dibe are to achieve blood is platelet function ta ki korbe poor platelet function platelet degranulate korte parbe so there will be an increase in blood loss so are to achieve iron intake absorption or utilization ta komai jabe okay because there is anorexia so patient ta intake ta komai jabe absorption ta komai jabe তারপরে ইউটিলাইজেশন ও কমে যাবে আমাদের এই কিডনি ডিজিজে কোন কিডনি ডিজিজ সো এখন আসো হাউ ক্যান উই ম্যানেজ ম্যানেজ কিভাবে করব ইফ দা پیشنট অফ দা সিকেডি কমস সো একটা হচ্ছে প্রিন্সিপালস তোমাকে বুঝতে হবে প্রিন্সিপালটা কি প্রিন্সিপালস অফ ম্যানেজ একটা হচ্ছে কি আন্ডারলাইন কজটা ট্রিট করতে হবে सपोज দ ইফ দা پیشنট ইজ সাফারিং ফ্রম দা ডায়াবেটিস ইফ দা پیشنট ইজ সাফারিং ফ্রম হাইপারটেনশন ইফ দা پیشنট হ্যাজ দা গ্লোমেরুলার ডিজিজ সো হ্যাভ টু ট্রিট দ্যাট কজ another one is as we have discussed you have to slow the progression of disease and then one is if the patient has arrived to the stage 3 you have to you, the patient will develop complication so you have to manage the complication so this and, and another one is if the patient is has arrived to the stage 4 or 5 you have to give the renal replacement therapy that is dialysis okay so you have to prepare them for the dialysis okay so what is the treatment or, or what is like how can you slow the progress of the uh so slow pro- progression is slow kara jonno amader ki ki treatment treatment er diabetes or hypertension er management korte hobe so diabetes er management ki ki bhabe korbo so diabetes e amader target level of the hemoglobin a1c ta hocche less than 6 maintain kara jonno amader target thake 
ड्र कि यूज कर ओरलो यूज करते बट उ कैन नट यूज दि मेटफर्मेन मेटफर्मेन इंटर जाए ना बिकज इट हेज टेंडेंसि टू कज दि लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस पेशेंट एम नहीं तो मैं मेटाबलिक एसिडोस हो जाए सो इट कैन प्रिसिपिटेट फर द लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस सो एसिडोसिस होते पे तईज मेटफर्मिन कूज करते सो एनदार वन इज उ कैन यूज इन्सुल एक ओरल मेटफर्मेन छाड़ा और इन्सुल यूज करते सो हाइपर टेंशन क्षेत्र में मैनेजमेंट क्षेत्र में हाइपर टेंशन अफ चो लाइक डायबिटीज उथथ किडनी डिजिज आस हाइपर टेंशन अफ चोस कि थक एसि इनिबिटर और एआर एंजोटेंशन रिसेप्टर ब्लक रईट सो हमारे टार्गेट लेवल थक एक कम थक मैं वन थार्टी ओवर एटी नीचे नाम ट्राई करब सो दिस इज दि टार्गेट लेवल एन मैं स्टेज फोर हो गए स्टेज थ्री हो गए और पेशेंटर कम्प्लीकेशन डेवलप कर गए सपोज द पेशेंट हेज डेवलप एनिमिया सो हमें एनिमिया कि भाव मैनेज कर सो एनिमिया क्षेत्र में तुम आयरन सप्लीमेंट ओरलि और पैरेंटेडलि दी पार आए कि तुम इथ्रोपोटिन सप्लीमेंट दी पो आए तो कि तुम ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन दीते द टार्गेट लेवल थको कि मेनटेन कर टार्गेट लेवल थक मोर दैन टेन ग्राम पर डेसी लिटर टार्गेट लेवल थक इफ द पेशेंट इज सफारिंग फ्रम सेकेंडरि हाइपर पैराथायरोडिजम ओके सो हाइपर पैराथायरोडिजम क्षेत्र में मैं क्यासियम कि करब क्यासियम और भाइटाम डिटा कि सप्लीमेंट करब क्या हाइपर पैराथायरोडिजम क्यों होते हैं बिकज बिकज किडनी किडनी देखिए भिटामिन डी एर टोटी फाइव हाइड्रोक्सिलेज हुए वन टोटी फाइव हाइड्रोलेज मैं एक्टिव फर्म है भिटामिन डी प्रड्यूस हो रईट सो इन देखिए होते हैं ना भिटाम डी प्रड्यूस होते हैं तईज क्यासियम लेवल का कि कमे जा सो डिक्रीज इन क्यासियम लेवल उल कज कि स्टिमुलेट कर पैराथायरोड स्टिमुलेट कर पैराथर्मोन का कि इनक्रीज कर देवे सो दिस इज सेकेंडरि हाइपर पैराथायरोडिजम सो सेकेंडरि कि इटा क्यासियम लेवल का करेक्ट कर क्यासियम प्लस भिटाम डी सप्लीमेंटेशन दी और एक हे कि क्यासियम आयोमेटिक ड्रग मैं क्यासियम रूपम ड्रग दी सीना क्यासेट बोल सो सो दैट द रेसपन्स उल नट अकर लाइक इट मिमिक्स एज ए क्यासियम एंड उल मेन्टेन दि पैराथर्म नर्मल लेवल नट इनक्रीज इट एंड वन इज फसफेट बैंडर सो कि नट ओनलि द डिक्रीज इन क्यासियम लेवल इज अ स्टिमुलेशन फर इनक्रीजिंग द पैराथर्म बट अल्सो इनक्रीज इन फसफेट लेवल इन केस सो हमारे क्रोनिक किडनी डिजिज कि नर्मली फसफेट एक्सप्रेशन हो कथा देखिए किडनी देखिए सो फसफेट लेवल बाढ़ते ही थको क्रोनिक किडनी डिजिजे सो क्रोनिक किडनी डिजिजे कि यूज करते तुम्हें फसफेट कमाइते जो हमें फसफेट बैंडार दैट इज देर इज अ ड्रग कल सेवालाम यूज करते इफ द पेशेंट इज सफारिंग फ्रम द फ्लूड ओवरलोड देन उ हेव टू यूज द डायरेटिक्स राइट फ्रुसेमाइट लुड डायरेटिक्स यूज करते इफ द पेशेंट इज हेज अ मेटाबलिक एसिड उ कैन गिव बै कार्बन इट अल्कलाइज सो रेनल रिप्लेसमेंट थेरापी दीब हम जो अपशन आज स्टेप फोर और फाइव स्टेज रिप्लेसमेंट थेरापी सो व्हाट आर द रेनल रिप्लेसमेंट थेरापी सो मोस्ट कमन यू सी इज द हेमो डायलिस इन द नेफ्रोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट सो अदर ऑप्शंस आर द पेरिटोनियल डायलिस बट इट हैज इनक्रीज लाइक इट इज नॉट इट हैज सर्टेन लाइक द एडवर्स इफेक्ट लाइक इनफेक्शन इट कैन कॉज इनफेक्शन दैट इज पेरिटोनाइटिस करते Uh, due to the like the large amount in the case of the peritoneal dialysis you have to give the dialyzer into the abdomen you have to introduce dialyzer so that will absorb the toxic material right so eto mane dialyzer weight the ki ki amra je okhane fluid de ki hoyte pare hernia hoyte pare ar patient inadequate dialysis ebola complete mane adverse effect ache others are hemofiltration hemodialysis ache ebola amade beshi dekha jay na so the specific thing like the the most important thing is the renal transplantation in in stage renal disease so to me in stage renal disease as to me renal transplantation would be the primary treatment right so renal transplantation so there is one question about what is the difference between acute kidney injury and chronic kidney disease so ek hai chronic kidney disease difference ki so prathame hote ki tumi history ni par history the ki paite paro tumi short duration ekta acute kidney injury history ki thakbe short duration ni history thakbe chronic kidney disease long standing history and there is history of kidney disease like diabetes mellitus hypertension glomerular diseases right so another one is examination examination is some ki uh tumi hote ki chronic kidney disease patient e anemia or hypertension ta mainly paite par right anemia or hypertension aro hote ki acute kidney injury patient e tumi ki paite paro tumi hypertension fluid overload regular paite par metabolic acidosis e feature paite par so this is the 
acute in case of acute and chronic it can be anemia hypertension you will have all. so on like the when you do the lab examination uh creatinine in table da ki hobe ekun rapidly increasing hobe so serially mane rapidly ekun increase hobe suppose yesterday the patient was uh, like suffering from the diarrhea vomiting ekun tumar creatinine level 5 ni ashbe so chronic kidney ke khetre ki hobe tumar tumar serially mane measurement korte gele tumar aste 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 barbe and stage wise progression hoy thakbe chronic kidney ke khetre ar calcium level ta roch ki amader low thakbe क्रोनिक किडनी डिजीज बिकज देर इज डिक्रीज इन दि प्रोडक्शन अफ द भिटामिन डी प्रोडक्शन मैं एक्टिव कमे जाते सो यूजुअलि नर्मल थे एक्टिव किडनी इंजुरी सो हेमोग्लोबिन की फिलसे एनिमिया हो जाए एनिमिया हेमोग्लोबिन लो थे और तुम जख ही रेनल अल्ट्रासाउंड करवा सो एक्टिव किडनी इंजुरी क्षेत्र में नर्मल अफन नर्मल ओके इफ पोस्ट रेनल पज क्षेत्र में तुम हाइड्रोनेफ्रोसिस पाइते पो बट इन केस अफ द chronic kidney disease like if it is patient is suffering from the renal vascular disease then tumi ki bai dibar asymmetrical ekta kidney bai dibar and arekta question ase chronic kidney disease uh, as a patient a uh, tumi ultrasonography tumi large kidney pae gela so you found the kidney is large so what may be the cause so cause e matte tumi diabetes amyloidosis polycystic kidney disease egula chhi tumar chronic kidney disease egula cause hoyte pare so you can like uh, तुम एक चिंता करते मैं लार्ज किडनी हो यूएसित लार्ज किडनी हो कि कज दिए होते मैं यू कज एक किडनी इंजुरी और क्रोनिक किडनी इंजुरी सो इगुल डिसकाशन करगुल प्रश्न जिज्ञेस करा सो एके आई अफ सिक्यूरिटी सो आई थिंक दिस इज अल अबाउट दि दिस इज इट अबाउट दि एक्यूट एंड क्रोनिक किडनी फेलियर सो Uh, in today's class, we have discussed the uh, kidney urine examination, hematuria, UTI, and the acute renal and chronic failure. So I, I think this is it. So uh, uh, we're gonna end this class now. So if you have any question, please let me know in the comments. So okay. So this is uh, all about uh, nephrology. So we'll discuss the next system in the next class. So okay. Okay take care uh, take care everyone so